Hi everyone, this is an exciting video that I've been desperate to do. Introducing Catherine Roberts, she's a Lime Life distributor and owner of her own business. She's going to do me a lovely makeover today. Thanks Catherine. Yeah. Um, avoid the eye area for obvious reasons, um, but we've got some special cream for that as well. Okay. Okay, so if you close your eyes, you'll feel the little beads going on there. And you can tell me what you think of it as well as it's been applied. Can you feel that? It feels fresh, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Even though they've got beads in. I think what I love as well, the scent on it. Yeah. It being lemon, it's very... It does feel fresh. Fresh and natural, yeah. yeah. And all the products are 100% paraben free. They're vegan friendly and they're cruelty free. That's so good, none of them it? will be tested on animals. And I know vegan friendly is a big one nowadays. Yeah. Um, which I think is really great that a company's taken that stance. So your skin's actually really well hydrated. So the cream, there is still visibility of the cream. It hasn't completely disappeared. But at the same time, it's definitely worked into the skin because there's elements, like gaps in it. Where yeah. you've, um, take the, it's kind of drawn in the product more. I love the smell though as well. Because it's I think gorgeous, it isn't it? Leaves a lovely, lovely feeling. So this is called Eye Rise. It's an actual um, eye cream that sits underneath. Now, what I love about this product is I noticed a different as soon as I used it, but it's the feeling. So the products actually, uh, once I apply, the key part is the tool right. at the end of this product. So the head, if you can see, is quite large and flat. Yeah. Um, all we have to do is get product on the end, and then what happens is we roll it. And tell me how oh, that, that feels. That feels lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. And what would you it say? Feels it feels like really cold. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, it's exactly that. So it's quite a cold feeling product, which I think is very relieving, especially in that area. Yeah. Um, it would be great, like after you've been in the sun or something like yeah. that, wouldn't it? Hugely, and it's nice to put on before bed. Yeah. Where you might not want to put on anything else on with it, but you put it on before bed, in. and it just soaks in. So we let that dry in. So this is called skin therapy. This is a pomegranate and oat face moisturiser. Um, I use this morning and night time. Okay. For mornings, I use it just to help prepare my skin so that when I'm putting the makeup on, it gives a really lovely finish. Yeah. Um, but I also use it on an evening to basically rehydrate my skin. Now, you'll probably recognise some of the scents in there as well. Just all the products have got some lovely, lovely scents with them and they're all natural as well. That's good, isn't so, it? So, yeah. Now on top of that, what I like to apply is something we've got called Sotox, which is a um, face serum. Right. And it's made with a songi mushroom. Now, again, these products are used in television. Um, so in America, the company that we work for is um, Lime Life by Alcone, but their company, their sister brand is Alcone. Right. And Alcone is the company that you'll find at West End shows. So if you've ever been to see a West End theatre show, that That's makeup... The makeup is our makeup okay. and what they did was um three years ago they realized there was a gap in the market and they decided to consumerize some of the top products that professional artists use yeah. and bring them to the consumer range and this is how lime life by alcone got started through um the niece and daughter of the owner of alcone and um, what's happened since then is in uh, last year sorry ronald gallagher from L'Occitane contacted the company and said i want to use a company yeah uh, i want to invest in a company i've looked at other companies loads of them have approached him but he just wasn't prepared to work with any of them and he actually approached line life they didn't approach him Did they not? and he said look you can use my distribution centers worldwide because he's obviously set up all over and that's how we've now started in the uk canada italy and we're going to australia and other countries next year as well so how's that feeling so far nice so as i mentioned about the dewy look we've got two options for that um, one of them is called Due Date and the other is One Drop Wonder. Now, the basic difference is One Drop Wonder is a pomifera oil. So this um, really hydrates skin. It's tend to, to be used on older aged skin. Right. Um, I actually use this every night as well. I actually add a little drop to the Sotox, which is a serum, and it gives a really deep skin um, treatment for me. Okay. So on a night time, I can almost soak my skin in that. But this has to be one of the best products I've ever used. This is our Judate oil, and 
you'll oh you'll just love it you'll love it for the smell you'll love it for the feel and you'll love it for how it finishes your makeup okay so all i'm going to do is apply a little bit of this to your skin you don't need a lot of this product either all the products are very 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 concentrated but what's really good about them as well is they're high in pigmentation when we come to the makeup yeah so as we talked about before um generally makeup is about 23 percent pigment on the high street which is you know it's good, good it, it, can, yeah. it can still give the results but with our makeup because it's used on television and on stages it's actually 53 percent or above that's good isn't which it? is amazing yeah. bit of a darker concealer and all I do here is I pick areas of the face that I think could do with a little bit touch up now it's not because you've got any bad skin at all normally it's just so that again you get a really nice finish yeah so I tend to find the chin the areas around the side of the nose so the nose creases and across sometimes the bridge it just depends um on the person and on the skin type I actually cover it here because I've got little veins that show otherwise How's this feeling all right? Yeah, really nice. And again, what I love, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be a makeup artist. All you're doing is applying. You'll probably notice that I don't need to brush it all in. And again, that's because these products are so blendable that once I begin applying, you They'll won't even notice. Themselves. Yeah. So all I'm doing is applying this in areas. Good. Right, okay, so at the minute you've got patches all over, <laughs> but I promise you it's good. And then what we're going to do is apply the foundation. Okay, so as you can see, all I'm going to do is dab in to the foundation and I'm going to begin applying now. If you pat, you're going to get a much stronger finish. Yeah. So a lot of the time, if people want coverage, you'll find they try to layer up. Now, if you brush it like this, you will get coverage, but it'll be thinner. Yeah. So that's what we, we look to work on i tend to pat on to begin with and then i brush it out unless the coverage needs to be heavier yeah so if someone's got a particular problematic area they've got areas of the skin they're not happy with then we obviously pat more how's this feeling really nice the, it doesn't feel like you've got anything on that's what i love about it now sometimes what i would now do is add some more concealer so perhaps i've covered your face and i go okay there's still some areas i want to cover um, and I would then go back and add some concealer, but I don't need to do that with yours. Right, okay. So um, what we're going to do now is begin applying some eyeshadows, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. So talk to me about what colours you normally wear. I sometimes wear browns. I browns? sometimes wear a black. Yeah, so and for I instance... Like a really dark. Like a smoky eye. Yeah. So we've got these palettes, as I said, all of them are customisable. They're all magnetic. And we do for eyeshadows a 4 well, a 6 well, an 18 well. Right. So I... And all you need to do when you're applying is small little circles around. One of the things that people think is that they'll apply it and they'll brush it a couple of times and think there's not enough product and then they'll start applying more. Yeah. But until you've fully blended it out, you won't actually know like how much product some. is on there yet. So it's always better to start with a smaller amount and add, but making sure that you've fully blended everything out. that there and then I blend that way in and everyone does it different and there's no right or wrongs it's just something that needs to work for you when you're applying your makeup yeah what I'm gonna do is go back work this out so I get a cleaner head and I begin to work some of the darker colour out Another thing to do as well is, if you just look up for me, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the colour at the bottom of your eyelid. So just look up to the ceiling, pull that up again. I think it'll just tickle the metal a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so what we've done there is we've had a little bit of colour underneath it, just again, makes your eye look a bit wider. The beauty of it is as well is because you want to get a nice finish, you can reuse your um sponge to go up to the 
edging of the eye and you're not touching the eye but it just helps you to get a finish that you're looking for yeah and you can use it also for underneath the eyebrow if you want to get a nice clean cut I'll run this through how does it feel it feels really nice actually because some of them can feel really sticky yeah It's particularly great for blondes, I think, because a lot of them don't have hair that shows, or they've got hair. Yeah. I think they have some definition on it, looks great. For me, what I'm also going to do is put some bronzer and blush on, but what I want to do is show you this first. So, the reason that it's so good is not only is the mitt and shoot. mascara, yeah, you can shape the brush. So, you can actually bend this brush as it comes out to give you the shape you want to do your mascara. That's really clever, isn't it's it? It's very good. Um, the brush itself's got amazing coverage because it's got really nice bristles on it. And on top of that, the product itself is phenomenal. It's got little fibers in it, but it doesn't make your eyes water. It doesn't itch, it doesn't affect, but it adds the the um, the look of volume and length, which yeah. I absolutely adore. Just look up to one of them slightly, that's it. Wow, we've got long lashes. Have you ever been told that? Yeah. Show you now what we do with the bronzer. So you yeah. take a dusting of it. I always start at the forehead because what I want it to do is look like it's come from your hairline. Okay. And I circular motion round. Um, again, the reason for that is just because it covers, it spreads it nicely without getting a clump of colour in one spot. Yeah. And you just blend it out. And then for the cheeks, we chose we cut in on the cheek because you want to get that nice finish on the cheek. Again, very gently, so you probably can barely even feel the brush touching. No, you can't. Um, and then I go around. It feels amazing going around as well. It's so creamy. Okay. So I take a dusting of it. Take off any excess. Start on the ball of the cheek. Again, very, very light, so you'll probably barely be able to feel me putting it on. Oh, Kat, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Do you like it? Really nice. And then that, that's how you can see. Really nice. Isn't it gorgeous? The coverage is really lovely. Really lovely. Very thin, very light. I love your brows being defined. Your lashes are amazing anyway, so they didn't need much. Um, and I love the cheek colour on you. It's really, really nice. Do you like it? Yeah. You can understand why you fell in love with these products. All oh, the products are gorgeous, there. aren't they? Yeah, really nice. <laughs> so that's it. If you like any of what you saw, I'm going to leave a link below to Catherine's Facebook. Please contact her if you would like anything. Anything like pamper parties, birthday parties, Hindus anything like that or if you would just like a one-to-one -to, -one to find out about the makeup for yourself Catherine will do any of that for you she's absolutely great okay hope you enjoyed bye